Greetings, y'all. This is my Rose, and yes, here's another review. The Haunted Pumpkin of Sleepy Hollow. This was a lesser-known movie with lots of good. It all started with Ichabod Crane. It's right on home on gunpowder. He feels something is following him. Something is coming near him until he sees the headless horseman. The headless horseman keeps catching him, trying to get him, trying to get him, trying to get him. Until the Ichabod Crane reaches the bridge, and he fell you safe until the pumpkin was thrown. But then, we were just watching a historic video at a museum with a bunch of kids. The kids were learning about the Headless Horseman of, well, of course, Washington Irvin. And a few of the kids were just talking about, about Halloween that night. But also, one of the students thinks that one of her friends... Nick Crane could be a relative of Ichabod Crane. Even the bully thinks it might be true, and the teacher. But as he said, it is one of Kate's theories, until he gets scared by the bully. Well, I just proved Kate's theory. You could be related to the Ichabod Cranes. I I'm not Nick, I mean, I'm not related to the Ichabod Cranes. Never was. This boy is pretty much like a, well, one of those four-eyed kids with the courage and scale of a slug. They were at the museum. They were at the museum learning about Irvin, Washington Irvin's famous book, The Headless Horseman of Sleepy Hollow, or as I say, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. But as they leave, we see two robbers getting ready to steal something from the museum. What could it be? And in any case, all the kids went back to school to get ready for the Halloween party and the pumpkin contest. And Kate and Nick were working on their own time for the Halloween. Nick is pretty much a genius, as much as I can throw at him. He worked on a skeleton robot. He even used some green goop on it. We even get a song in this one. It goes like this. You're running around on a Halloween night. There's gonna be something and a monster go right. Red man in white, ghostly lemon in white. The headless horseman is a terrible sight. And when it's ever to scare the swallow. So you better be spooky and sleepy hollow. Baby hollow, oh, never say that Halloween, you better walk the earth on Halloween, and then together to scare the swallow, so it's up and spooky and sleepy hollow, sleepy hollow, sleepy hollow, and that's how the song ends. Then, as he was playing with his robot, that was a goopy green goop, Kate was very impressed with his invention, and he used some of the slime that was made of jello. But then they needed to get a pumpkin. So before they got all the goop off of them, Nick went to go wash his hands, but then as he felt he was being followed, then he sees the head of the horseman chasing them. Watch out, Kate! Is that the horseman? But until suddenly the head of the horseman crashed into the fountain and the pumpkin fell on the fountain. It was just the bully. I just call him Butch because I don't know his name. Butch is trying to make him scared. You should have seen your face, Nick. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Very funny. And Kate was like, oh, you're not cute, but I am cute. She's like, oh, give me a break. But in the end, it could, in the end, Nick went back over there and got the skeleton and scared the bully out of his witch or made him wet his pants. <laughs> Which is pretty funny for anything. In any case, meanwhile, the two robbers who went to the museum were able to steal the manuscript that belonged to Washington Irvin. The police went after him. But before they could get away, the dumb thug forgot to put more gas in. You idiot, you forgot to fill the tank. So they were forced to run, run as fast as they could. Meanwhile, Nick and Kate went to go to the pumpkin store to buy a pumpkin. But all the pumpkins were small, so they went into the woods to look for wild pumpkins. Until suddenly... The two crooks put the book, the manuscript, in a pumpkin. And as the police was trying to look for them, was talking about them when they were in the woods, saying that they stole the manuscript. But they did a terrible job washing the museum up. Well, kids, I go. And after that, they got the pumpkin with the manuscript. And as they brought it to school, the thieves had to get it back from the pumpkin because they put the book in there. 
And believe me, that wasn't very smart. I may have released something destructive. Now, you may be wondering how I know all this from the movie, because, as you see, from my last reviews, I don't give a lot of information. But for this movie, it's my favorite one, actually. As you're about to carve a pumpkin face on it, they saw a face of a creepy face in the cave. Did you carve that, Nick? No, I didn't. It was like that when I found it. It was like that when I saw it. Well, it's spooky to me. And as the pumpkin glowed, then a spooky gray um, spook came out of the pumpkin. It was one of the spirits that lived a thousand years ago when a headless horseman was around. His name is Nathaniel, a real ghost. And he explained who he is. The headless horseman was called the Headless Hasher. The story goes that thousands of years, this man was a very evil. He would kill anyone during the revolution. So, some of the guys had their own brand of magic. And they were able to destroy him and turn his head into a real pumpkin. And now... Now he wants to come back, and as I explain the story, as he explained, the headless horseman rise from his grave like a zombie headless horseman monster. And now, wait, if that means it's true, then that means the sleepy headless horse, the sleepy, the headless horseman will return and get his head back. So all three decided to work together to keep the pumpkin away before midnight, before he could get the back of the head of the pumpkin, he could turn back. So the old three ran around, and but as they ran, they left the trail gooped, and they left on their feet. As the headless had followed the goop, so did the thieves and the robbers. The robbers wanted their book back. And the guy was like, hey, why do we want our old pumpkin back? Because, you idiot, it has the manuscript to sell it for money. But as they went, the magic of the headless horsemen awakened trees, and the trees were trying to grab them and smack them. And we're going to keep them there until they can get the pumpkin back for the for their master, that horseman. And as they finally got there, they went to Van Castle, Van, the house of Van Tassel. Now then. Here's the story goes. The Van Tassel's relatives actually gave, actually lost in the stock market, and now there is no Van Tassel anymore. They were afraid to go in there. Even the Thandie knew they had some old parties in there, so they weren't able to get in. Even Nick was assigned, but then the Thandie says, Hmm, you know, you look, you look and remind me of a fellow I know, uh, Nick about Crane. But then Nick didn't want them to know, so he decided to be brave and such, and he went inside. But as the thieves went in, as the thieves followed them to get, they were planning to scare them up with a headless, uh, chick, you know, pin right over their heads. Meanwhile, the headless horseman was following him until he was stopped by the policeman. But the policeman was so stupid, he didn't know that was a real guy, he didn't know that it was a real headless, it was maybe hollow. He thought it was just a guy in the costume, he gave him mints. They went on walking. That's for those policemen. I think I think Chief Wickham is more smarter than this bloke. As they got into the house, they meet a lot of things. Two spirits, which the mother and father of Katrina Van Castle. And here we are, another song. Let's see. Wake up, you lazy deadhead. In right, like the, the ghost who thought the these look alive and prepared to get a scaring out of there. Hey, you raise your dead heads. The leaf it's so the ghost of Panda, please look alive. Or scare you or you die. Ba -da 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 -da. During the whole song, Kate was dancing with a knight who didn't want her toes to get hurt. Nick was wrapped up, and the spider whip was very scary. Instruments played and fly. Oh, so much magic made. And this animation was only made in the 2000s. And for, uh, Nathaniel was able to free him with it until they had the pumpkin back in their hands. And then they met two green skeletons who had been playing poker for years. Unfortunately, the pumpkin bounced into them, and they lost, and they were about to chase Nick and Kate. But as they got the, but as the spider and the knife were coming back, then boom, they smacked into each other. As Nathaniel was trying to hide. Oh, come on, you're supposed to be brave and thin, and you don't be a chicken ghost. But as they were trying to get the pumpkin away, the, tr the pumpkin was bouncing, bouncing to the outside. But then the two ghosts grabbed the pumpkin, saying, We have your pumpkin, come back again. And then the thing was like, I wouldn't touch that, I you. That's the, that's the pumpkin, the head that belonged to the head of the question. Wait, you mean that monster that scared Ichabon Crane, the one who was going to marry our daughter, but then laughed at that brute? So, in the end, Oh, in the end, I think, I think, I think that Ventasia would want to take about Crane to marry, to marry their daughter because he was smart, kind, and vigilant. But when Brom Bones married him, I'm guessing the relatives of Brom Bones kind of, made him lost their home. So yeah, in the end, Ichabon Crane would have been a better husband. And as they threw the pumpkin 
I can't have this in my house. And he threw it, and she threw it outside. And then uh, one, uh, one of the criminals who pretended to be her husband got the pumpkin bag. Unfortunately, the door is closed. And he got fainted. Then the real headless horseman came. But then the uh, the other thug thought he was the, his boss, and then he gave him the pumpkin. But then the one, but then the sword of thug came out. Hey, that's my pumpkin. Why are you giving it to him? And then the two were spooked out of the way. It was gonna be midnight soon. So what did so what did the young boy did? Oh, he threw a stone at him. A stone? A stone? Well, kind of like the story of Goliath. If you know what I mean, Daniel and Goliath. Was it? Uh, Oh, yeah, Daniel and Goliath. But then, Kate was trying to get the pumpkin from the beast. And the pumpkin was thrown to Nick. But then, Nick had to give the pumpkin to him. Otherwise, Kate would have gotten hurt. So, in the end, he threw the pumpkin on him. But just before he put the pumpkin on, it was past midnight. You see, the clock on the house was like midnight. But the real time was on Nick's clock. And then he was able... Then he was able to beat the headed horseman, and all that was left of him was the pumpkin and the book. They were able to find the book in the book, in the, and then they were all amazed how Nick was so brave and so courageous. But then Nick decided to tell the truth. Kate, I have been hiding. You're right. My great ancestor is is a Gabon Crane, and she says I knew it. But why did you hide? Because I don't want anyone to know that I was the great 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 grandchild of the of a Coward. Well, you're no coward no more, my boy, said Nathaniel. And Kate gave him a hug and everything. And the police came and saw the crooks and got him and then found the book and gave him the book. And all the, and all the Nathaniel got was pieces of candy. And yet the two kids were able to do something amazing on the night before Halloween. And then the pumpkin head, well, it didn't look scary. He looked like it had a smile on it. So in the end, that was the end of the story. But the last part, they made their haunted house really squeaky with some pressed teacher. Until the last thing, the bully. You see that? But that, but during that day, when they were being chased by the headless horseman, Nick's bully faced the headless horseman, and he thought that it was Nick in the costume. And, well, the headless horseman made him lost his pumpkin. <laughs> the headless horseman was good for something. And then, well, just do a last trick and a last thing for them. Nathaniel came and scared Nick's bully away, and that's the end of Halloween night. So I hope you guys enjoy this little treat of terrors. Good night, and sweet nightmares. Okay, my brony watchers, remember to subscribe to my channel. And remember, there's always more with me than meets the eye. Or, should I say, more than meets a white rose. Night, folks. <laughs>